Now, your storm track weather with meteorologist Kyle Porca. Hey there, Northeast Kansas, and welcome back to KSNT News. Happy Thursday, or as I like to call it, pre Friday, getting ready for the upcoming weekend. Temperatures out there this morning not doing too bad. We're talking 40s and 50s. We'll I'll start the forecast across the WeatherCam network. We are out west in the Flint Hills this morning in downtown Manhattan. That is the eastern sky, of course, Tuttle Creek Boulevard there in the background. Super, super dry over the last couple of months. Those drought statuses continue to increase and more. Red flag warnings in effect today, especially out west in the Flint Hills. So, something to keep in mind. Here's our day planner forecast temperatures mid morning 45 or 46 degrees, and those winds are just getting started. Breezy skies by lunchtime, lots of sun, 62, and highs this afternoon just as warm as yesterday, if not a little bit warmer. Highs today 70 to 75 degrees. Lots of help from the mid March sunshine, but also those south winds. On future track wind, you can see by 5 o'clock uh, late afternoon, early evening. There they are, about 15 to 25 miles per hour. Of course, could be gusting maybe a little bit higher than that from time to time today, only increasing that risk for high fire danger. So, something to keep in mind. Please refrain from any outdoor burning again today. Here's our KSNT future track, all about the rain chances tonight. And I know we can use as much moisture as we can squeeze out right now with all the drought statuses. However, the forecast is changing a little bit. This is a cold front. We knew that all week. However, the air back behind the front is super, super dry. So I think the rain could start maybe as early as 11 p.m. or midnight. But some of the recent computer models like Future Track slowing it down by 1.30 or 2 o'clock tomorrow morning and only having those rain chances really Areas north of I-70, along Highway 75, and then farther east. This is 9 a.m. tomorrow with the rain chances around the Topeka area. But notice farther south and west, the areas that really could use the rain. Not only are you dry tomorrow morning, but you're probably seeing the sun. So this cold front, it's a quick mover. And at the same time, it has some dry air pushing those rain chances and clouds farther east. I've added up all the potential raindrops that could fall tonight or tomorrow morning. And this is what the model spits out. Anywhere you see the green color, that's a meager quarter inch of rain. The darker green may be getting close to a half inch and the blue color is pushing one inch and the blue is farther into uh, the show me state farther east. So that's a trend we're watching. We'll have an updated forecast for you tonight on KSNT news, but do not expect a drought buster for overnight into tomorrow before the rain chances roll in. It's all about the sunshine today. We're warm. We're windy. High temperatures 70 to 75 degrees. There's that rain chance tonight, mainly north of I-70 along and east of Highway 75, maybe a couple rumbles of thunder too. It's a cold front and again, a quick mover. So we dry things out and we clear things out tomorrow afternoon. And we also cool things down for the upcoming weekend. We are dry for St. Patrick's Day, lots of sun, but just 57 degrees. To me, it looks like a better chance for rain early next week. We are now watching Monday. Your St. Patrick's Day weekend forecast, be safe, be responsible this weekend, but it's looking nice for the holiday itself. Sunny and 57. Seven. Local time is 621. I'll be right back after this with your local segment of Adopt a Pet. Don't go anywhere. You're watching KSNT News.